And that's what I said. It's just not realistic. If you were to throw a cucumber and then you were to throw a pickle, the cucumber would go farther every time. It's basic physics. You learn that within the first few weeks of a physics class. We were live. Oh shit. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the LBW Network. SOV, son of Asa, making his way to the ring. Former LBW Junior Heavyweight Champion, former Tag Team Champion. SOV will, taking, will be taking on the, the current reigning and defending Tough Enough Champion tonight. While this match is going to be non-title, this is a great opportunity for both men to be noticed, to be showcased, to be put in the spotlight. This is a great chance for this young man to prove that he belongs, to prove that he deserves to be a champion. Lightning Boy has done anything and everything to put himself in the spotlight to prove that he deserves to be the tough enough champion. He wants to be noticed, he wants to be recognized, he wants to be appreciated. Well now he's got a chance, he's gonna be taking on a great competitor here at the LBW in SOV. There we go, I think I, I caught up nicely. There we go, referee rings the bell. This is gonna be a great match, ladies and gentlemen. Former LBW Junior Heavyweight Champion, former Tag Team Champion. SOV taking on the current rating and defending LBW Tough Enough Champion in a non-title match. These two have so much to prove, so much to gain, and so much to lose. The title's not on the line, but this is still great for both of these men. With the current upcoming tournament, the LBW Ruler of the Ring Tournament coming in February, both these men want to be noticed. They want to be seen by the board of directors, be seen by management. They want to be placed in an entrance match. They both want to be in a qualifying match, rather. They want a chance to be the ruler of the ring, to go on to Low Budget Mania 3, to challenge Malcolm Miller for the LBW World Heavyweight Championship. Well, that's right, the LBW World Championship. We don't call it the Heavyweight Championship anymore because we're doing away with weight classes, folks. What this means for the LBW Junior Heavyweight Championship, that still remains to be seen. As of right now, still reigning as champion is Swag Bunny. But right now, we're not looking at Swag Bunny. We're looking at two highly gifted competitors Son of Onstad, Lightning Boy. One of the most hated characters in LBW history, Son of Onstad. Creepy, annoying, crazy stalker guy, Avon Stott. Recently turned babyface, has been accepted by some of the fans. All three or four of his fans are very happy to see that, that Son of Onstad has taken on a much more likable character. That he, he shows that he does not approve of the voodoo ghouls. He doesn't like Papa Shango, does not like Kilgar the Dragon, does not like the Prowler, does not like Hannibal Harvey. He's backed off of Onstad for a bit. He's tried to end his rivalry with Lorinia, though he's not a member of Serotonin. We know that he wants to he wants he wants peace with them. Even after the small rivalry where he was representing the LBW with Latino Sheep and Leroy the Cat against Serotonin, Serotonin has changed their sights. They no longer want to invade and take over the LBW. They want to be the defenders of the LBW. Recently, they released Low Budget Santa from his contract due to nagging injuries and concussions. Recently, uh, Low Budget Santa tried to announce his retirement, but was attacked by the Voodoo Ghouls until we saw the Retro Kid finally show up and try to help him fight off the Ghouls, to which management will come out at the top of the stage, ring the bell, and end the fight, and then ending the drama. A low bunch of Santa was taken out on a stretcher. Unfortunately, we did not get footage of that. That would that would have gotten so many views on our Instagram, which you know is definitely much more important than the health and and the respect of, of of one of our stars, one of our working talents. But wait a second now. Wait, that's the that's the biker taker. What's the biker taker doing here? Wait a second. Daddy issues. Daddy issues by SOV. Oh come on. Oh no, leg drop by the biker taker. Who's it? Who's working with, with the with the lightning boy? What in the world is the biker taker doing here? Wait a second. The biker taker wears a bandana. Lightning boy, where's a bandana? What in what in the world is going on here? Oh, double suplex! Wait, what's that? We're learn Is he really? Folks, I just learned groundbreaking news! And, and apparently. The Lightning Boy is the son of the Biker Taker! What in the world? Why have we not found out this sooner? Did we not learn this when we did his paperwork? He's fighting with his son? I didn't know Biker Taker had a son. I thought he was a virgin. Look, that's not going to stop SOV as he hits the daddy issues. Finishing maneuver. 2.9! I thought SOV was going to pull up the upset. Lightning boy. No. Countered and suplex. Down he goes. 
as Sylvie climbs to the top rope. Elbow drop from the sky. Wow, we just learned some fascinating news. The Lightning Boy, you learned it here first, folks. The Lightning Boy is the son of the biker taker. What could this mean? Is that how this young man got a job? Why was this a secret for so long? Are we ever going to follow up with answering these questions? Probably not. Continuities for rich people, folks. Let's just focus on the action in the ring. My goodness. Elbow to the back now. The Retro Kid. Did I say Retro Kid? I meant Lightning Boy. Yeah, they look similar. Huh. Look at this. Car wheeling over the carcass. SOV. Running off the ropes and... Beautiful running swanton bomb there. Multiple kicks. Takes down SOV. Running off the ropes and... Leg drop. Just like his daddy. Biker Taker does a leg drop, right? I don't know. Who cares? SOV. Standing on the outside. Oh, it's springboard. Look at that! How did he pull that off? Who knew that SOV could be that athletic? Oh, I thought he I thought he submitted it, but it looks like it was a rope break. Time for an airplane spin. It's time for a lift off. Lightning boy being spun around. Both of these two men. While the title is not on the line. While the number one contendership is not on the line. They want to prove that they belong in the LBW. That they are big, bad, that they can hang with the big boys. This is a chance to be noticed, to be recognized, and to be considered for a qualification match for the Ruler of the Ring Tournament in February. Oh my goodness, a Frankensteiner there. Taunting for the crowd, the Lightning Boy. I imagine he wants to make his father proud. Wait a second. That, that's Hawaiian Steve. What's Hawaiian Steve doing here? Hawaiian Steve must want to be a part of the Ruler of the Ring match, recently making his return in a Howdy Horse Open Challenge back in December. But what is his business out here? Looks like he's, he's eyeing up. Oh, look at this. He's going after the Lightning Boy, but the Lightning Boy fights back with an elbow and then a Frankensteiner to SOV. Now a spinning kick to Hawaiian Steve. Snapmare takes him down. That was a very highly failed ambush. Oh, there he goes. Ran into him, knocked him down. Now he's getting pummeled on the back of the head, trying to cover and protect his head. From the fist of SOV. What is Hawaiian Steve doing on here? Elbow to the face. Taunting with SOV. Could he have an issue with the Lightning Boy? Is he trying to bring notoriety on himself? Is he sending a message to the Biker Taker? Wait a second here. Running off the ropes. And kick to the throat. The Samoan Savage Hawaiian Steve. Making himself noticed. And now, with a smirk on his face, walking back to the locker room, SOV's gonna fly! Elbow drop to the sternum! Taunting to the crowd, Hawaiian Steve has left the ring. That's two interferences in this match. So much pandemonium chaos going on. One, two, and... No, only a two count. I thought it was all over. Oh! Northern line suplex with a bridge pin. Wait a second, elbow to the back now. Taunting for the crowd, stomping on the back of the head. Kick to the face, both men down. Both men trying to catch their breath, both men exhausted. I wish that we could sanction an inhaler on a pole match. That's what the fans want to see, especially when they get down, dirty and exhausted like this. My goodness, that could put him away here. Oh, 2.9, it's not over. Another one. Another lightning strike. No! A, no! a lightning strike. One of the signature maneuvers on Lightning Boy. There was not enough to put away SLV. Front flipping, senton, and another one. Oh, Enziguri there. Takes down the daddy's boy. Oh, no, no. Irish whip it to the corner. SLV's in dangerous territory. Got himself away from being cornered. Hitting both sides of his head with his elbows. He's sitting down and pounding. Perhaps trying to strategize his next move. We've seen interference by two men in this match. Okay, whatever works. SOV is victorious over the Tough Enough champion in this non-title match. We've seen so many stars in this match. Interesting to see where, where things will go from here. Where things will go from here. We've seen Biker Taker, Hawaii Steve Lightning Boy, SOV. What happens next?